Start with our march. Those of you that just popped on, um, we're gonna do more of a conditioning workout today. Um, always in the same sort of similar vein of the circuit training that we do. Um, you'll need dumbbells for this, or you can do this with no weight also if you want. I'll show modifications as usual. Um, if anyone is non-weight bearing, um, I can show you modifications for those too, but I think everybody that's on is okay to be on your feet. If not, chat, let me know. <laughs> All right, let's keep uh, marching. Let me just actually change my view here. There we go. <laughs> I'm wondering, maybe somebody can tell me after. Um, so I have the Zoom on full screen, and then I'm trying to make the pictures go down the side, but they're on the top. So if any of you know a setting, like how to change that, let me know. Because I don't know, and I want to move it, because I want to see you if I can, but it's weird. Anyways. <laughs> Um, okay, they get to a little jog if you can. If you feel like your ankles are warmed up, it doesn't have to be real high. It can just be, you know, very light. Just kind of start bouncing around. Kind of side to side, sort of like boxer style if you're not quite jogging here yet. Up to you, you can do either. <clears throat> All right, let's take it into a jumping jack. You can slow these down if you want or take the jump out and just do a jack, I guess we'll call it. <laughs> Gonna be a nice full body today. Okay, let's take this down to a side to side lunge. Hi Jen, we're just warming up. We just did a little bit of a march and a jog and a jumping jack. Just getting our joints going. Ooh, things are cracking. <laughs> That was my hip, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> All right, let's bring it up. Do a little twisty, loose, loose, spinal, kind of swingy, side to side. Warm up for the spine and the core, and then gradually go a little further side to side if you can. You can also lift one foot, heel, if you want to help yourself out that way. Want to be a little gentle right now. Still warming up. Okay, now we're just going to do a squat. It's a nice, easy body weight squat. Like I always say, if you cannot get to parallel on your own, I want you using a box or a chair, because I don't wanna see this. I don't want anyone bent over here. I don't want any squats that are only going to here. So if you're just doing this, I want you to do this instead. Because we want more glute and hamstring versus more quad, because we don't wanna injure our knees. I'll do a few more of those. Okay, let's take it into a lunge. So options are forward lunge. If that's too much for you, you can always do the trusty old reverse lunge and hang on to something if you need. You can even hang on to something if you're doing a forward lunge too.
Get that breathing going. All right, take it back up to a jog. If you're still warming up your ankles, just do a march in place for now until you feel like your joints are a little warmer. You can go for a jog around the apartment, around the house. Eventually, I'm gonna to go to home to Canada and hang out with my family and I'll be doing these First of all, in a motorhome while I'm quarantined, <laughs> and then when I'm done my quarantine, I'll be doing them outside in the yard, probably. As long as my dad gets the Wi-Fi going for me. <laughs> all right, we're gonna do a push-up, get that upper body warmed up. So you can do from your knees, do it on an incline if you want. Take it nice and easy. We're just gonna do, I'm gonna do knees. 30 seconds, as many as you can do. Take a break if you need. Just getting those shoulders and elbows, wrists warmed up. Okay, let's get another little jog. We should be good and warmed up by now. See if you can get those knees up, pop those arms. Okay, grab some water. I'll give you about 30 seconds, take a little breather, and then we'll get started on our circuit. So we're gonna do uh, one, two, three, four, five moves. They're all combinations. The first one, I'll just demonstrate them all right now. First one is gonna be a lunge. You can use your dumbbells or just no weight if you want. Lunge, row, lunge, row, left and right. Options, you can go reverse lunge instead of forward lunge if you want. You can just do stationary lunge if you want whatever is the best for your ability. Second move is gonna be a push-up and a renegade row. So however you want your push-up, if you have dumbbells, you can do them with dumbbells, but I'm not gonna do them with my detergent cans because a, a push-up renegade row, it's a push-up, and this is the renegade row. I'm gonna do mine with no weight just because I can't put weight on there, but what you can, you have options. So you can do push-up and then you can grab your dumbbells that's fine. Or if you have dumbbells that don't roll, or if you have very good control over the ones that are around, you can use those and never let them go. You can also do these from your knees and row with no weight, or grab your weight from your knees too. You can do them on an incline and just do this move. Once again, just do what you can do for your ability. Third is gonna be the old squat. Shoulder press, squat, shoulder press. If you cannot go down to parallel here, use your box. Chest up, I want you chest up, sitting up. Uh, fourth move is a squat curl. So that's gonna be squat again, but curl at the bottom. Options here, squat, curl at the top. It's a little bit easier just cause it takes less coordination. <laughs> Last move is gonna be a half burpee. So a half burpee just means no push up. So you can do this with your dumbbells if you want to. So you're gonna do feet out, come back, jump. You don't have to do it with weight though if you don't want. You can just go, okay? Those are our moves and we're gonna do five rounds. All right, so first up, lunge row. We ready? All right, lunge row, left and then right. So like I said, you can do a reverse if you wanna make it easier. If you really can't lunge, you can just step back.
Ooh. So many things are cracking today. <laughs> oh, getting older. All right, next move is our push up renegade row. So, and go. Push up, and however you're rowing, whether it's with weight or without. And as always, you determine your rest. You take a rest whenever you need. The more weight that you're using, the more rest you're gonna need, and that's fine. I want you to rest, but I want you to decide when you take your rest. 15 seconds. You can also do a hybrid. You can come down on your knees, lift your knees up at the top. You're kind of in between. Okay, next up, grab your dumbbells, squat, shoulder press. Squat. Shoulder press. So your bum is down. You're not bending over at the waist. Your chest is up. Take a rest whenever you need. Okay, squat, curl. Squat, curl. Squat, curl. I'm gonna take my rest. The heavier your weight, the more rest you're gonna need, and that's good, we like that. Fifteen more seconds, or you can squat and then curl. You can use your box. Or curl down here. Okay, half burpee with the jump. Feet out, feet in, jump. Or you can just step out, step in and stand up and take the jump out, that's fine. Whew. One more seconds. Okay, onto our second round, lunge row. Grab your dumbbells, lunge row, lunge row, lunge row. Go your own tempo for your reps. You don't have to match how fast or how slow I'm going. You can also do a walking lunge if you have the space. So just keep moving forwards. I like doing that. All right, push up renegade row. Push up row. You don't even need to lift weight for this but you can, and it's okay if it slows you down because tempo is up to you because even if you're not using weight, you're still working those back muscles. Okay, up to our squat shoulder press. Squat, press, press. We want to go to parallel with our thighs because we don't want to damage our knees. I 
I'm going to switch my dumbbells because mine are still uneven. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling it in my shoulders. <sighs> 10 more seconds. Keep pushing or take your rest whenever you need. <sighs> okay, two more seconds. Squat curl. Gonna be breathing hard with this one. Whether you need to rest for your muscles or rest to catch your breath, all is fine. Fifteen seconds left in this one. You can even do this without weight if you want to. You will still get a good workout. Okay, back to the burpee jump. Out, in, and jump. Really concentrate with this one. Keep your belly button sucked in here. We don't want to sag. We don't want to be up here. We want a nice plank. You can even jump a little way up. You don't have to go all the way if you can't. Five more seconds. All right, that's the end of round two. Third round, back to the top, lunge row. When you're ready. about 15 more seconds. I'm going to switch up. I'm going to go for a walk. Okay, back to our push-up renegade row. So push-up, row, push-up, row with or without weight. Keep that belly button tucked in, sucked in for this too. I'm gonna take my rest, get some water. All right, three more seconds. Back to our squat, shoulder press. Squat, shoulder press. I'm gonna switch mine. So find the stance that works for you, width-wise, that means Try hip width with your feet. Somewhere between hip width and shoulder width is usually what works for people when squatting. Turn your toes out slightly. Everyone's hips are different, so everyone's stance is gonna be slightly different. Three more seconds. Take a rest when you need. Squat, curl, go. When you're ready. <laughs> I'll probably be taking more rest than I usually do today. I'm going to try to use my dumbbells the whole time. Seven more seconds. All right, burpee, jump, half burpee. Get out, get in, jump. Uh, 
about halfway through this, this little circuit. Okay, fourth circuit up to the top, lunge, row, lunge, row, lunge, row. Halfway through. And you're halfway through the lunge rows. <laughs> Five more seconds. Okay, push up renegade row. I think I'm gonna stay on my knees this time. Push up row left and right. Left. Sixty more seconds left in this one. Whew. All right, back up. Squat, shoulder press. Grab your dumbbells. Squat, shoulder press. Or we call these a dumbbell thruster. Eight more seconds. Squat curl. the further we get into it, the more you're going to have to rest. That's only natural. <laughs> These type of metabolic workouts are inspired by a coach I had, Jay Tita, his name is. Okay, burpee, half burpee, jump. Or no jump if you're taking the plyo out. You can just stand up and step back and step up. You do not have to jump. Ooh, my quads are on fire. Gonna grab some water. Seven more seconds. Okay, last round, lunge row. I don't know about you all, but Five rounds sounds like a lot, but it goes by so fast, I feel like. If I'm the only one that feels that way, and you have anything, any suggestions, any feedback, please let me know anytime. You can email me anytime. You can respond to the other, every other day emails I send. Okay, push up Renegade Row. Push up, row. Uh, 
I like the hybrid push-ups too. Down on your knees, lift them up at the top. I always ask for feedback because I can't see everybody, so I don't know how we're actually doing through this <laughs> for the most part. Okay, back up to our squat shoulder press. Squat into parallel. Your thighs are parallel to the ground, to the floor. Feeling it in those glutes. Chest is up. Switch my dumbbells. Got 15 seconds left of this. Sit back and down in that squat. All right, squat curl. Same thing, sit back and down. Drop that pelvis between your feet between your legs. You will be bent over slightly, but not 90, you'll be more at a 45 degree with your back. If you're doing this, that's a good morning. That's not a squat. You can use your backs. Five seconds. Whew, okay, last half burpee jump. We're in the home stretch. Twenty seconds. Almost done. Almost done. It's a nice short one today, but still working your heart. That's it. We did it. Good job, everybody. Take a minute. Get your breathing under control. Grab some water. I'm gonna give you a minute or so to calm down. Walk around, don't stop moving. Keep those legs moving. Even if you're stopping to get your water. Because that was an intense one. So now that you're all working out so consistently, you want to up your water intake as well. through the workout and just through your general day also. Especially during this time when we wanna keep our immune system strong. Working out actually does stress your immune system. It's the recovery when it's, um, your muscles are being uh, rebuilt and made stronger. That's when you recover from the stress on your immune system, but then your immune system gets stronger because of it. So we wanna make sure we're drinking a lot of water because our bodies are made of, what is it, 80%? No, 60 or 70, our brains are made of like 80% water. So if you're dehydrated, a lot of headaches come from dehydration. A lot of hunger comes from dehydration. All right, let's uh, get into our side to side lunge. Nice wide stance. Just nice and gentle. Big breaths. Really let those exhales out loud. Okay. 
Let's just stop over on one side. This is our stretch time, so feel free to stretch however you like. If you still need to walk around, that's fine too. You can always carry on stretching on your own. Go to the other side here, we're getting the adductors. If you can go deeper, you can bend over more, you can get to the ground. I'm not quite ready to lower my head. <laughs> Whew. All right, big deep breath. We're gonna do a hamstring stretch standing, so split stance with your feet, your weight on the bent leg, nice flat back, and you're just stretching the straightened out leg in the hamstring there. You wanna think of pushing your butt to the wall behind you. And you can lower your chest, but don't round, still keep flat, just think of nice gentle chest to the ground. Keep your neck neutral. And switch legs. That's the beauty of these metabolic workouts. Jade calls them, um, they're short. <laughs> you work super hard, but it's only for like 18 minutes. All right, back up. Let's do a quad stretch. So if you can hang on to something, like a table here, or you can use a couch, or you can just stand. One foot behind you. Keep your shoulder down, shoulder blade back and in. Knees together. Pull that heel towards your butt. Belly button in, ribs down. We want you to be able to focus on the stretch and not lose track because of your balance. So that's why we hang on to something so we're not out here. I know there is like some yoga pose like that or something. <laughs> I was a figure skater too and I could never do that spiral the way they do. I just did a regular one. But <laughs> I feel like that gets more into the hip flexors anyways. See if you can do that one, go ahead. Let's switch it up. My hamstrings and my hips are less flexible than my quads. So it actually takes some work for me to feel the stretch here. Sometimes I like to lay down and do it on the floor and lay back, which is also something I learned in yoga. <clears throat> okay, let's do uh, some side stretching. Let's stretch up. Just have a nice kind of neutral um, shoulder width stance. And just gently stretch over to one side. Get those lats. Well, this side, this lat. Stretch and up. And try to keep, same thing, belly button in, ribs tucked. We don't want to be up here over here. Just think of, think of like you're in between two walls. Keep nice and square. So think of chest forward. Other side again. Okay. Arms behind you. We'll do a front shoulder and a chest stretch. So lace those fingers. Straight arms. Belly button in. Ribs down. Lift those arms behind you. Neutral neck, as always. Where there's the wall, I like this one a lot. Gets a little bit deeper into the chest in the front. And a little bit more bicep also. And you also get a nice little twist out of it too. Speaking of biceps, let's get our bicep stretch on. So hands out. Palms away from you. Think of pushing the heel of your hand away from you. Arms straight, shoulders down, belly button in, ribs down. And gently move your arms behind you if you can, just to get a deeper stretch. Don't have to. This is one you can also do against the wall. You can just put your flat hand, palm on the wall, and just turn away. And keep your palm on the wall, and you feel a nice stretch in the forearm, too. 
but just gently though. Okay, triceps, one arm overhead, bent behind you, hand down here, push your opposite hand, feel the stretch in the tricep, ribs down, belly button in, we don't want an arched back, nice neutral spine. And you don't have to stand on the spot for this, you can move around if you want. You're gonna feel those triceps from our push-ups today. And our running game goes, you feel everything. <laughs> On that note, soreness, Epsom salt baths do wonders. A hot bath without salt is fine too if you don't have it. It's amazing what hot water can do or saunas. Magnesium is a good supplement to take for soreness. You take it at night, it also helps you go to sleep. There's magnesium cream, because I don't have a bathtub in my apartment, I have a beautiful shower. So I have cream that I rub on when I'm sore at night and it helps me go to sleep. Also, um, glutamine is a good um, supplement if you want to help your recovery. Let's see, I think I want to do another little hamstring stretch now that we're cooled down a little bit. So just split wide stance. Just take it down as low as you can go. Just relax into it and go over to one side. Get a little deeper in that hamstring. And the other side. And roll up nice and slow when you're ready. Heel toes feet in. And let's just get a neck stretch too. Just nice and gentle. Put your arms behind you if you want, just nice and loose. Right ear to right shoulder. Left ear to left shoulder. You can do like Emily's doing and give yourself a little bit more. That feels nice. I need a massage. <laughs> I do that on the other side too. Drop that shoulder down. Make sure you're even Steven, both sides. And if you want to do a lat stretch, a separate one, I like to hang on to something. Um, I usually do something on the side like this and just sit back nice and gentle, letting that stretch happen in the lats here. And you can round your back a little bit for this one. Just be nice and gentle. And then you want to even it out. So you want to make sure whatever you did on that side, you do on the other side. If you have nothing to hang on to another version, you could just do this. Just nice and gentle though, because you'll feel more low back this way. All right, we are at time. 